Hello and welcome to the Kane Gordon Show today's Best Country Mix. And joining us here today is Jordana Bryant. Jordana, how are you doing? I'm doing great. Thank you so much for having me. Oh, it is my pleasure. So what are you most looking forward to at CMA Fest? Oh my gosh, that's a great question. Well, this year I am doing meet and greets at Fanfare X, and I'm so excited for it. I did them yesterday as well, and it was such a fun experience, and I love just getting to, to meet people who have heard my music, meet people who haven't heard it yet, and just get to chat with them and hear their stories. Absolutely. That's the best thing, telling stories. That's what music is all about, right? It is. It is indeed. You're right. So you have a new song called Saddle Up, which is so good, by the way. Tell Thank us about you. that song. Saddle Up is fun, high-energy country love song about someone who puts you first and makes you feel like the most important part of their life. I know people use that phrase, mm -hmm. if he wanted to, he would, right. and this song is kind of my, he wanted to and he did, and I'm so excited that it's finally out. I've been playing it on the road all year long, and everyone always mm -hmm. asks, um, when is it going to come out? <laughs> exactly, and I'm so excited to finally say that it's out. That is awesome. Yeah, you have some loyal fans. Oh, I mean, it's it's so special getting to to see the comments on Instagram, but more than that, getting to play shows and actually meet people who have been listening to my music and following along. It really is such an incredible experience that I'm so grateful for. And I've seen you grow like crazy. I remember when I first saw you on Instagram and been following you. I remember, I, I think I was one of the first radio stations to play it before you got signed no or way. anything. That's yeah, awesome. I'm pretty sure I was. That is so. so special. Thank you for all of your oh, support. Oh, you are so welcome. So if people don't know who you are, where can they find you? You can find my music anywhere you stream music, so Apple Music, Spotify, Amazon, Pandora, all those places. But I also post a lot of unreleased music on my Instagram and TikTok, which is Jordana.Bryant. Awesome. And who would be your dream collaboration that you've never worked with? Oh my gosh. That is a great question. I would say... Probably Taylor Swift. I, I had a feeling <laughs> that was coming, Swift, but <laughs> yeah. I had a feeling that was coming from you. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, I really love how she writes songs that are just mm -hmm. so real and honest, and that's I feel like what makes them really relatable. And and I hope that I can write songs and and, and share stories that are also relatable for people. And um, I think she's really shown that the best you know, the best songs are the ones that are just honest, that really feel like you're writing in your diary. Yes. And you know, that's great music, you know, and you know, you write it down, you're in your diary, and you're, that's, that's the cool thing about Taylor Swift. Yeah, it is, it is. And I feel like that's what people respond to, because they, mm -hmm. they can relate to it because it's real, you know? And, and especially the younger generation, like ages like 13 and up, mm -hmm. I think that's where your demographic is, which is, I think is amazing. Thank you, thank you. Well, um, I was saying earlier that, you know, ob obviously country music has a lot of those bar songs, right. the drinking songs, which I can't yeah, <laughs> necessarily... No. <laughs> really too yet, right. but I love that, you know, I get to write songs like New Friends that are right. about friendship and and that those are, you know, songs that other people my age can relate to and it's so cool to, exactly. to get to see how people connect to them. Exactly, because not everybody's not going to like a bar song it's, <laughs> and that's what country is, you know, but you're spin to it is just amazing and I, I like what you're doing. Thank you so much, I appreciate that. So where do you see yourself in like the next five to ten years? Where do you want your music career to go? That is a great question. I would be very happy if I just get to continue making music and connecting with people through it and hopefully making a difference with my music. I feel like music is really, uh, it's a really special thing because you get to connect with people and you also get to hopefully, you know, add a little positivity to people's days and I really hope with my music that you know it makes the bad days not so bad and um, the good days better and I hope I continue to get to make music and connect with with the community. And Jordana is there anything else that we want to mention before we go today? Well, I have some new music coming out very oh, awesome. soon, maybe even this month, so stay tuned for that. And I also have some tour dates coming up that I'm so excited for. I'm going to be opening for Nico Moon this summer. Oh, wow. Then, we just interviewed him earlier today, oh, so he was awesome. awesome. So. He's great. Yeah. And I'm also going to be opening for Lauren Elena in September. Oh, my God. Good for you. <laughs> Thank and you. I also saw that recently you got signed with CAA. Yes, um, that was about a year ago that yeah, I started working with CAA, and I love the team there. Um, they are really, I mean, they're great people, but they're also uh, just a, a really hardworking and passionate team, mm -hmm. and I, I love getting to work with them. 
Well, congratulations on everything, Jordana. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you. So great chatting with y'all.